एथ प्रॉब्लम फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ द इलिप्स इक्वेशन ऑफ द इलिप्स इफ फोकस फोकस इज इक्वल टू वन कामा माइनस वन ई इज इक्वल टू टू बाई थ्री एंड डायरेक्ट्रिक्स इज एंड डायरेक्ट्रिक्स इज x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0 that means focus of the conic eccentricity of the conic equation to the directives of the conic conic means whether it may be ellipse or hyperbola or parabola parabola means e is equal to 1 you have to take but in the case of ellipse and hyperbola e value will be given so using actually conic definition we have to find out equation to the ellipse or equation to the hyperbola we have to find out. So, now here this is the directrix suppose this will be the say focus this is p x 1 comma y 1 be any point on the locus say this yes focus 1 comma minus 1 drop the perpendicular on the directrix say p m now locus of this p you have to find out. So, what is given means here you see given that are given focus yes 1 comma minus 1 eccentricity e is equal to 2 by 3 and equation to the directrix directrix is x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0. Let p x 1 comma y 1 be any point be any point on the ellipse on the ellipse or directrix focus property or by the definition of the conic we can say by the definition of conic the locus of p which moves such that S p by P m is equal to E is called equation to the conic. So, S p by P m is equal to E. So, S p by P m is equal to E stands for how much? 2 by 3 cross multiply 3 S p is equal to 2 P m. S p means distance between S and P p m is the perpendicular distance from x 1 comma y 1 to the directrix. Let us find out 3 times root of x 1 minus 1 whole square y 1 plus 1 whole square is equal to 2 times perpendicular distance from this one is x 1 plus y 1 plus 2 divided by root of a square plus b square 1 square 1 1 square 1. Okay, now, this is 3 times root of x 1 square plus y 1 square minus 2 x 1 plus 2 y 1 plus 2 is equal to 2 by root 2, 2 by root 2 means root 2 times mod of x 1 plus y 1 plus 2. Squaring on both sides we get 9 into 
x1 square plus y1 square minus 2x1 plus 2y1 plus 2 is equal to root 2 square is 2 this becomes x1 plus y1 plus 2 whole square. Okay. So, now 9 x 1 square plus 9 y 1 square minus 18 x 1 plus 18 y 1 plus 18 is equal to 2 times x 1 square plus y 1 square plus 2 x 1 y 1 a plus b plus c whole square only that is plus 4 x 1 plus 4 y 1 plus 4. So, we can simplify 2 x 1 square plus 2 y 1 square 2 x 1 y 1. Okay. Next 8 x 1 8 y 1 plus 8. Okay, bring this side 7 x 1 square minus 2 x 1 y 1 plus 7 y 1 square minus 26 x 1 plus 10 y 1 plus 10 is equal to 0. Now, locus we have to find out. Therefore, locus of p x 1 comma y 1 is 7 x square minus 2 x y plus 7 y square minus 26 x plus 10 y plus 10 is equal to 0. So, this is the required equation of an ellipse for the given data. Okay. 